Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Zombaland Gaming. I am Zombo Skater. This is episode number 17? 17 or 18 of Satisfactory. So we have a hell of a lot to get through today. I have been busy this past week and uh, no, I have done nothing really over here other than the fact of uh, just AFKing so we can fill up all of our storage and I moved a bunch of storage over into a new location which we will show you in a second. But first things first, you might notice at the top of my screen, there is a whole bunch of little doomahickeys everywhere. And if I open up my map, but bam, I have been a busy, busy bee. So over the course of these episodes, and I'm gonna take a drink because my throat is dry. Ooh. Oh yeah, delicious. So over the course of uh, the past week, I decided I'm tired of not knowing where all my stuff is or what ores I've gotten. And I should have done this a long time ago as I was doing things, but I just never thought about it. Um, I have color coordinated for the most part and labeled everything. All the ores that we currently have a miner on, or if I've found an ore node and haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, so the white is the ores that have a miner on them, but I haven't done anything with. All the regular black is everything that has a miner on it. And if you'll notice, when I scroll down in here, you'll notice I basically put Mark II. I started it off with what miner st size I'm using on it, then what ore it is. In this case, this one, it's Katarium, you know, cat for Katarium, iron, uh, so on, so forth, right? Uh, and then the next letter is what kind of note it is. IP for impure and for normal, P for pure. And then the last number, in this case two, means that there's two power shards inside there. So it lets me know that this has 480 Katerium ore coming out of it. Uh, in the case of this, this iron ore is just 60 iron ore coming out because it's impure with no uh, shards. So this is gonna give me an idea of where I can go boost my production ability. I can, hey, I've got no power shards in this thing. Let me go stick them in and go from 60 to potentially 150 if I put three power shards in it, so on and so forth, right? Uh, the red is our factories. So in the case here, you can see high-speed connectors, crystal oscillators, that is my vehicle, uh, AI limiters, beacons, and then rifle cartridges and noblisk. Uh, so now we know where all of our factories are. The yellow is coal generators, and you might notice there, there's 94 coal generators sitting here. Yes, yes, as we will see as I pass by here, I've added 44 more coal generators uh, in this past week to boost up our production. Uh, over here, we have where we're gonna be building our mega factory in this giant ocean. Uh, I have built a kind of a temporary bulk storage that I've been slowly filling, it's just, Storage in any video game is just always a constant struggle and battle. Um, so I have been trying to fill up basically five tall storage units of every single item. Uh, and then uh, once again, our fuel gens. And uh, you notice it says temporary fuel gen. That's because it's attached to the plastic factory. So the only time those fuel gens will be online is when the plastic's actually running. Uh, here's where I am. And so the new things is all of this area down here. And this is gonna give you a clue at what we're gonna be working on today. We have some raw quartz, a whole bunch of raw quartz, as a matter of fact, 960 of it. And then we have all of this bauxite uh, all the way down through, uh, so I think there's yeah four bauxites here, two here, and three here. So a whole lot of bauxite, a little bit of copper. Uh, the sulfur is, uh, just ignore the sulfur. And then a whole bunch of coal. And yeah, I've actually found uh, my first Sam ore, actual ore node. Uh, all the Sam ore I've been finding so far has just been the little bits that you break up. Uh, but I actually found an impure Sam ore node. Uh, so I put a miner down on it. I'm not collecting it yet. I haven't done anything there. But good lord, moving all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this into a central location, which I think is right about here. I think I just came straight off of the raw court. So this is where we're going to be building today's project. And today's project can't begin until I... Why am I... I my, that was weird. I felt like I was really sluggish and slow there for a second. We cannot begin today's project until we do one of these numbers. Tier number seven, bauxite refinement. Let's select the milestone. Stick all this junk up in here. The damn. Uh, I am short on motors. Why am I short on motors? I'm also short on computers. Okay, so we need a couple more motors, a couple more computers. That's easy enough. We got this. Hold on. Let's, let's bonk down here for a second. Do I have my jetpack on or do I have my boots on? I think I have my boots on. I, I was needing my I was needing my jetpack earlier. I kept getting knocked off a hill while I was attacking a big beefy boy. And uh wait, motors, right? Motors and computers. Oh, the computers are so far away. Oh no. Oh, let's go over here and get the motors, and then I'll show you some of the new stuff I've done while we go get computers. 
Uh, hello? Oh, there they are. <laughs> little glitchiness there. I was like, where the hell are they at? Was that one glitched into the conveyor? That was awkward. Look, they're not even sitting here either. Oh, we don't need all of those. Oh. Wow. Oh, you know what? Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. It's cool. We'll keep all those motors on us. All right. So uh, we'll, we'll actually come back to here. So I'm going to take you on a quick journey. And uh, we're going to cover a couple different things uh, during the course of this episode. Uh, some of the locations that I've built. Because I have built a hell of a lot of foundations all over the map uh, to make things easier to get around. Uh, especially when I die and I'm on foot. Uh, it's way up in the sky and it goes basically across section of the map. Uh, starting kind of midpoint of the map. Uh, and then goes east, west, north, and south. Oh, oh god. But the first thing we're going to stop by is going to be the temporary storage. Because uh, I may have some computers in there, which is going to be closer uh, to get to than uh, if we have to go all the way to the computers. Uh, so, yes, today, if uh, you haven't guessed it by now, based on the four resources we saw, the bauxite, the copper, the coal, and the uh, raw quartz, uh, we also have to add a water to that. We will be extracting water from the giant lake, which is why I've also chosen the location. We are going to be making aluminum. So we're gonna make aluminum. Uh, essentially the process goes, bauxite and water makes aluminum solution. Aluminum solution and coal makes aluminum scrap. Both of those are done in refineries. And then the aluminum scrap, along with silica, turns into aluminum ingots in a foundry. And then the aluminum ingots can be separated out uh, with copper to be making uh, all clad aluminum sheets. And then just aluminum scrap, uh, not sorry, aluminum ingots by themselves can be made into aluminum casings. So our end goal today is to be making a hell of a lot of aluminum casings and a hell of a lot of all clad aluminum sheets. And I believe the all clad aluminum sheets, it's either all clad aluminum sheets or casings. I can't remember which, but one of the two are what's going to be used for the conveyor systems when we finally get to conveyor fives. Oh, and conveyor five is when we're going to start... Uh, basically power sharding the ever living crap out of everything because the limitation of uh that point is going to be 720 i believe uh, on the uh, co the conveyor belts so we can't fully take a mark three uh all the way up mark mark two pure node miners will get you uh 600 or a minute so we can at least go around with mark twos and ma max them all out so here's my temporary storage. Yes, it's ugly. It's it's a horrible, gigantic nightmare of, of uh, just boxes everywhere. But this is all going to be temporary. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to fill all these up, stack another five on top of it, fill all those up, and then we'll have 10 full inventories, uh, 24 slots times 10. So, you know, 240 slots worth of inventory uh, just needed for whatever. This is computers, right? Yeah. Okay, I guess we're taking all those computers. And so what we're going to do with this uh, is we're going to tear down all of the other factories because we'll have enough stuff to do everything we need. And then all we're going to do is we'll make trains and get all of the resources. Since we already have conveyors going to generally specific locations, we'll make a really good train route to go to those specific locations, pick up all of the items, and then bring them to here where our mega factory is going to be built. And one of the cool things about kind of how I've been building all of this is since every single factory I've been building is individualized. So instead of having one location where I've been making all the resources and then sending those resources out to the other individual factories that require those resources, every factory I have said, oh man, I need copper ore to make copper ingots, to make copper sheets. Uh, I need rubber to make plastic of course like you know that's a that's a bad example all the refineries i've kept wherever they're at and just sent the plastic or rubber off um or like say like i needed iron and coal right to make steel i bought in iron i bought in coal at that location turned it into iron uh well not iron i guess i just goes directly into steel that's another bad example oh good grief you get the point that i'm trying to make so anyway we know that we have enough resources basically at this point in time all of our factories currently have enough resources to make at least one worth of manufacturing and then we can send off elsewhere for other things so good lord that was a giant explanation of a mess uh so we have our computers okay so we are now going to be headed back up to our uh our base here because we can't do anything we can't do anything until we get uh tier seven the first thing of tier seven unlocked 
And once that happens, I will go show you the rest of the stuff that I've done. And we'll be able to then go into a time lapsey period and I'm going to build. Well, I guess as I'm driving, let me explain this. So in order to make basically what I'm gonna do today is the facility that would be the exact same facility going inside our mega factory. It is going to require 1,440 bauxite, 2,160 meters cubed of water, uh, 720 coal, uh, 1,800 silica, uh, which uh, is like something like, I don't know, 1,200, uh, oh, excuse me, 1,200 raw quartz, and then uh, a measly 144 copper ore. So that is gonna get us 1,440 aluminum solution, which then we're gonna turn into basically 600 silica left over. So we could actually take that silica left over and put it into the silica needed uh, for the aluminum ingot smelting or foundry. But we're just gonna take it to an awesome sink. Might as well get points from it. Uh, but then we take that aluminum uh, solution in six refineries added with the 720 coal. That's gonna get us 2,160 aluminum scrap. Then that aluminum scrap is gonna also output some uh, water which we could obviously take that water, put it back into the aluminum solution making, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna package it and uh, send it off to uh, an awesome sink just to collect some more points. Eventually we'll end up using that water byproduct for something else, but for the time being, we're just gonna package it and send it off to, um, to an awesome sink. Uh, so then that aluminum scrap couples with the 1800 silica, and that's gonna make us uh, 1440 aluminum ingots. And we're gonna, oh God, auto save lag. Please don't go over the edge. Please don't go over the edge. I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking. Dude, the, the auto saves has been like the biggest bug for me about this game. I do not like how the auto save just absolutely lags you out. I don't know how many times I've died from falling over the edge in a vehicle. Uh, so yeah, so that 1440 uh, aluminum ingots is gonna separate out into a thousand and eight that are gonna go to make 672 aluminum casings. And then the leftover 432 aluminum ingots is gonna go along with uh, 144 copper ingots to then make 432 uh, all clad aluminum sheets in a assembler, and then we'll be done. So it's a giant factory. I mean, we're talking 48 constructors for the uh, silica making. Uh, it's a 16, I believe. Uh, maybe it's a little bit more than that. Um, I mean, it's just crazy. We, we got like something like 20 to 30 refineries making the aluminum so solution, aluminum scrap. We're going to have to make a packager. We're, it's going to be banana bonkers. I mean, it's going to be a huge giant facility. Uh, we need 18 water extractors. Pretty big, which is another reason why I also added a whole bunch to our coal generator because we're going to need the extra power. So, all right, let us get in here and finalize this out. That is rubber, not motors. Oh, yeah, bauxite refinement ready for launch. Let's go watch it. Are you even going to go? You're going to go? Milestone reached. Quartz and bauxite scanning unlocked. A new generation of basic aluminum parts is now unlocked quartz. Which can be constructed from bauxite after a complex process of refinement. A com yeah, it is complex. Used in future processes. So the blender is going to be used for things like making batteries. Um, and I believe it might actually say on here, select milestone. Let's go back to seven. Uh, does it offer it here now? No. So blender um, is going to be, yeah, here, right here. So uh, the, the the batteries is going to be used to in the blender. All right. So the next one is going to be this, the Mark V belts. I am excited for this, which... With the exception of the all clad aluminum sheets, which we'll be making today, we technically are going to be able to go up into there. So I think what, look at this. We need aluminum casings, and then we'll have to make these uh, off in a regular crafting table because I'm not, I'm not setting up a, uh, a factory for these. So we'll just make 50 of these. 50 of those will be good to go. Uh, these are going to be making. We already know we have these. Uh, we're going to have to make a radio control factory. And then that. So we're going to be able to hopefully by next episode unlock the hover pack the hazmat suit and uh, mark five belts that is amazing oh excuse me and then of course we're going to step ourselves up an eight later all right so we are now good to go um we are over here next to a ma'am so i might as well come in and research i have the burps today people good grief all these energy drinks so do we do the programmable splitters or let's go with geothermal generators anything that's going to get us more power ability is a plus so we have basically these two which we are going to complete today because i have everything we need for this so let's go ahead and start research that's eight minutes on that 
and then we have four hard drives i did find a few hard drives as we're going around uh we might be able to see these and actually since i don't have to go back to my storage unit now there's really nothing that direction so we're gonna pull the car up this way and i will show you my temporary well not temporary it's it's pretty freaking permanent because let's be honest i'm too lazy to take it down uh, I have my giant's walkway in the sky. So let's go ahead and grab our vehicle and drive on around. And if you haven't probably noticed already, this is going to be a very long episode uh, because I have so much to do. The time lapse itself is probably going to be a good 30 minute time lapse, uh, even even after I you know cut everything down. Uh, and I am talking a lot and I plan on talking a lot more. So uh, this is going to be a very, very long episode. Just buckle up and sit down for the ride people oh god speaking of ride i can't i can't i can't drive when things are lagging so so i have started to notice some pretty wonky uh performance issues uh i've noticed that a lot of the conveyor belts because uh, i'm on high graphic settings typically i play on ultra but for recordings i have to drop it down to high but as you notice there's a little bit of jitteriness and occasionally you'll notice the wheels on my vehicle stutter quite badly and you'll you'll hear my vehicle go rah, 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 rah. and i'm still driving the same speed limit it's just acting like i'm not over flat terrain which is kind of weird uh and then i'll notice things on conveyor belts will become very big and very small and very big and very small or disappear kind of interesting i mean we do have a lot going on here hopefully as we remove factories uh, and, and bring everything to a centralized point uh, where there's going to be a lot less conveyor belts running and a lot less uh, potential for clipping of things. We should hopefully start to see a, a performance gain again. But yeah, so uh, I died earlier uh, twice, three times, five, five times. I think it was like five times to uh, three gigantic little dudes that were um, bopping me off a cliff. <laughs> and uh because you know i wasn't smart enough to grab my jetpack to land safely uh when they bought me off i, I kept just using my boots <laughs> i decided to build this so that way i had a quicker way to get back to the other side of the map because if we look at the map here let me jump out of this car so we are based up here this is our base right up here in this area uh well all right here we're all you see all of these currently uh we've been over here in the desert I mean, heck, so you can just see this right here. Look, let me turn around here. Let me, let, let's, let's look at this. So you see this base over here? Look at this. All of this stuff. Every little bit of this. This crazy ginormous amount of stuff is just this little spot right here. Look at that. That is the desert. This is what we worked on last week that I showed you. That is a ginormous... Look at how much bigger that area is. And then this. This is where we're working at today. So it's a long way away. Uh, I mean, we're talking... Uh, each one of these tiles is eight meters and I think from the edge of that there to where it crosses is 200 tiles So that's what? Uh, 1,600 meters Just to get to the center point here it, Basically, it's a long way is what I'm saying. It's what I'm saying here people is it's a long way Oh look, there's a drop pod down there. I hadn't noticed that yet. I really like the uh, looking from up here though I mean, it's just how cool is this that we can basically see everything that we've built from up here almost <laughs> At least little bits and parts poking out. Once we get over to the cross section, I'm going to jump out of the car again and <clears throat> give you a better overview of just everything we have done. It's insane. Blah, blah. It takes so long to drive. I mean, look at this. Can you imagine walking this without having Blade Runners? Just having to walk? Even with slide jumping, it still takes forever to get around. I'm also planning on making some walkways down from like here uh down to here so there's our computer and our fuel generation down there which is awkwardly looks like a miss why is that look like it's oh there's this is in my way i was like i looked like it was down on the ground and i was like what are we even looking at so yeah fuel generation computers there goes all the desert stuff and things uh and where we've been making just right around the corner of this rock here is where the high speed connectors and all that stuff is and let me back out of photo mode <clears throat> And so then down here, you can see our regular factory way over there. Oh my God, we're above Sky Bob. Uh, here is where on my main account, this was my main base area on my main account. And there's our base. And then over there is our coal generation. And we kind of work our way up around there. And then this is some of the newer stuff and things I've been working on is back over in this direction where we are currently going to be heading. So, whoo, 
That's a lot. We have we have done a lot. I think I put down something like 300 beacons in the past week just to uh, label everything. It's kind of a giant mess. You can actually, uh, in the map, uh, you can actually come into show menu and I can hide all of these uh, beacons on the compass. So it'll take uh, take away, you know, any of my icons if it becomes too, too messy. But I like having it on there because, you know, when I approach, you know, I can kind of see the name up at the top of what I'm looking towards. So not a big deal. It's not that bad. It doesn't it doesn't inhibit the screen whatsoever. Oh, boy, did I ever have to chop a bunch of trees down? That's another reason why this is so high up. It eliminates the needs to chop a lot of trees down. So yes, this is a long way for me to go and I probably could have edited this part out But I kind of just wanted to show you just just how much goes into just little things I mean like just to make it easier for me to get around I have to do all of this work Just to get the resources I need to one central location. Sure. I could have used a train Did not want to take the time dealing with trains. So I just conveyed it all. So here's our first box site. I believe and uh, basically all of this over here is bauxite and uh, coal and uh, a little bit of copper so we were over in the swamp area uh right after this is the swamp area and so if we go that way is there's some more resources off uh off that direction more the the bauxite uh, we can kind of see on the map here oh god okay okay let's not drive the car while we look at map yeah, so you can see right here. So we just passed all this bauxite and the coal is down here. There's more coal and then some more bauxite and then a rock quartz is just in the north of us. Now you don't really get a, a, an appreciation for just how ginormous this game is until you get into your vehicle and have to drive the entire map. I mean, oh, look at this waterfall. How freaking cool is this? I want to build a base up here, just a home. Oh, update five is looking like it's gonna have some mwah, design feature stuff for you to be able to like make bases look nice. They're starting to actually finally add some really cool elements to uh, base design, so it's not just about automation anymore. Uh, like we're gonna be able to make some really epic looking bases. And why, why can I not change my screen? This happened to me the other day. I realized I have a horn. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't look up and down like I normally could. That's interesting. I don't know what I did there. There's something with the feet. Oh, God, don't, don't fall. Oh, there's also some uranium. Like, see, like, this is, this is kind of annoying. Why can't I look down all of a sudden? I must have clicked some sort of button that I don't know what I clicked. There's some of our copper coming in with our coal and our bauxite. Oh, and look, our ma'am just finished. Oh, look, there's trees that I didn't clear. You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. So there's a couple of uh, the pink that you kind of see on my compass there. So the pink is uh, drop pods that I found that I have not. Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, can we flip this? Come on. Well, that. Um, um, uh, <laughs> what in the? Are you? Are, are you? Yeah. How about we just do this? OK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll just. We'll <laughs> Oh, there's our blender. Uh, all right, vehicles, what the hell? Look. Let us put our fuel back in here. What in the world just even happened? Well, okay, we need to keep one of these in there for when our jetpack, when we need our jetpack. All right, let's get back to it. Good grief, that was, that was crazy. But yeah, you can see all, just the amount of ores that I bought over here. Now, some of these lines, uh, I just used the Mark IV conveyors for everything just because, you know, I wanted to keep everything upgraded as much as possible. Some of these lines are actually only carrying like 300 or 360 ore. Um, but I have a tally of everything once it gets to the end. So I know exactly how many of each resource we have uh, coming down these lines uh, and which line is which. But yeah, I mean, you can see the ginormous length of this conveyor. And I, it's just crazy. I mean, hell, I think I spent four hours already today just bringing coal over. Incredible amount of time spent just to bring all this stuff over. So now... This giant platform is not going to stay here. Once again, I was just lazy and just brah, built this giant platform this entire way just to get it out of the way. So now we are here. Uh, we have everything unlocked. We are ready to go with building our... Um, oh, actually, ooh, V. V, do we have... Oh, we have our box site now. And I'm... 
we have oh we had quartz from the mam research that's right so we have our bauxite going so that is amazing uh well, i don't know why i want to scan for that uh but what we all are gonna do is special uh let's build a mam right here just so we can continue on with our research geothermal generators are done you're not gonna talk to me about geothermal generators all right and the final the final piece of uh research other than uh christmas when it's christmas time and hard drives is gonna be programmable splitters i'm excited to use those actually to be honest i haven't uh, haven't got a chance to, to get around with that oh boy oh boy this is um i have no idea i have an idea uh, i've written it kind of down the flow chart for where everything is to go I don't think this is going to be our typical factory. Uh, it's not going to be stacked up for the most part. I think I'm just going to build it straight in a line uh, just because I have a feeling that that's going to be the best way to go because, uh, I mean, our water is going to need to be on this side uh, ooh, because here's all our ingredients coming in and our water needs to be on this side of the refiners. This is going to be a nightmare. So I'm going to go ahead and get on into the time lapse and uh, this is going to be just a <laughs> crazy ginormous facility so here we go let's get our build on
right, everyone, welcome back. So uh, we're taking a little bit of a break. I've made a little bit of progress, but we have some MAM research that is done. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And holy snickerdoodles. We are done. We are done. We are done, 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 skis, except for this. I'm interested in this. I have not, I've not done a holiday event yet, but we do have four hard drives. So let's go ahead and scan a hard drive, which takes 10 minutes. So now we have everything in the MAM unlocked. So, all right, progress report, right? So I bought this uh, Katerium, not Katerium, Bauxite. So I lied a little bit earlier. So I said that I knew exactly how much was coming on each line, but I also didn't lie because I said that some of them were like 300, 360 per line. Yeah, the box side is the potential 300, 360. So if we look at our map, we've got uh, IP3, uh, Impure 3, which means there's 150 coming there. We have a Normal 3, which means 300. So that's 450 plus a Pure Node with two. So that's 480. There's a good chance that these two lines that I am currently using, probably the best chance that these two lines that I'm using are not 480 each. Um, as we can see right here, we've got a uh, normal, uh, which is 240, uh, and then uh, impure, which is just 120, uh, and then we've got 480, 240, 120, and 120. So I know these two lines are going to be 480 and 480, uh, but there's a good chance that what we have coming over here is not quite 480, 480, 480. That's perfectly fine. We, if, if they're not, we will figure that out here pretty quickly, and we will just uh, adjust which lines we're using. Uh, but I decided to go with this setup. So it's 180 water, meters cubed of water, and 120 bauxite per refinery in order to get, uh, I think it's 120 aluminum solution out. So basically these are 120, wow, these are really loud. It's 120 uh, meters cubed of water per water extractor. So take that times three, that gets you 360 divided by two means I can power two of these uh, refineries with three water extractors. We have 12 refineries. So that means a total of 18 water extractors. And I just have them basically, the lines are coming to the middle and then they just go off and couple into two refiners here. No pumps needed whatsoever. So we have all of our water going in and oh my God, this is gonna be a drain on our power system though. Let's see, what do we have for power? Uh, oh, pfft, we got this. Yeah, we're at, the, we're at 15 gigawatts of power now, by the way, isn't that incredible? Um, so yeah, so now we have all of our bauxite going in, all of our water going in. We are making, uh, aluminum solution with silica on the output. Yes, yeah, it's 120 bauxite, 180, uh, meters cubed of water going in, and we get 120 aluminum solution and 50 silica. So my next step now is I need to take the silica off to an awesome sink because you have to get rid of the byproduct. If you do not get rid of the byproduct, as we've seen with our, uh, poly resin from our fuel generators and the uh the high uh high uh, high 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 heavy oil residue good lord words a uh, heavy oil residue from our plastic and rubber you have to get rid of it fortunately for silica i can just take a line because 12 times 50 is uh was that uh five times words 600 jesus words 600 we can just take all of this straight out to an awesome sink uh and then the uh aluminum solution is then going to go into six refiners uh right off of here and it's gonna make our aluminum scrap so time for the time lapse to recommence and i am gonna work on the next portion and then we'll cut back in after that all right see you in a little bit <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back. So, a little bit of more progress. Uh, I saw the MAM has finished, so let's go and check what our alternate recipe is. So, let me see. We've got uh, poly resin, which we can get from making fuel, coupled with water to make fabric. Now, that's interesting because we don't have a factory set up for fabric because that requires mushrooms. It requires a product that we don't have. 
I'd be interested to do that just so we can create our gas filters and stuff like that without having to go collect mushrooms. That's kind of cool. Compacted coal, sulfur, and regular coal to make compacted coal. I know it's more efficient. I don't really want it, though. Uh, what is this? I'm assuming this is five... Uh, one iron to make... So five steel ingots, right? Is that steel? No, it's just iron. No, so five iron ingots to make 20 screws. That's a whole lot cheaper. What does it normally take to make screws? It's a... Uh, it's 10 iron rods to make 40 screws. That'd be five iron rods to make 20 screws. Five iron rods comes from five iron ingots. So it just eliminates the need for constructors because you can just go straight from uh, ingots straight to uh, screws instead of ingots to rods. That's kind of handy only because you get eliminate a bunch of power need with constructors, but I can use constructors. I'm going to go ahead and go with this because we haven't played with the fabric yet other than just to make a couple of masks in the crafter, I would like to be able to automate making gas masks. So let's go ahead and go with that. Plus now we'll have a use for our poly resin. Cool, all right, next hard drive, scanny scanny, 10 more minutes. Okay, so uh, we have coal line here. I had to, I was smart this time. I figured out which one of my coal lines was the, uh, the, the needed. So we needed, uh, what was it, 720? 720 coal, so I have the bottom line is 480, the top line is, Technically still 480, but I've got an offshoot there just to remind myself that I can pull 240 off of here if I want to. And it is coming around. Uh, we've got our awesome sinks taking the silica. But we have basically all of our aluminum solution is going in pairs of two because it's 120 and it is so laggy over here now. B between the background loading in and all the machines loading up, it is just laggy as all hell can get out. So 120 plus 120 makes 240. 240 is going straight into this refiner along with the coal. And so it is taking 120 coal, 240 aluminum solution, and it is making us 360 aluminum scrap. And it looks like it only stacks in stacks of 150, which kind of sucks, uh, with the 50 water. And so there are six of these going on. And so now we are making all of our aluminum scrap. So second part of the process is basically done. We've got all of our wibbly wobbly pipes coming in here in a very uh, higgledy piggledy mess along with our coal and we are now taking aluminum solution into aluminum scrap good to go so now the next step is going to be refining all of this down into uh aluminum ingots so all this aluminum scrap is going to go into two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four foundries holy bananas um